are so beautiful. Look at this. I mean, they they turned out just how I wanted them. And I did not do the middle line. I may change my mind later, but for now, I'm keeping them like this. And I want to show you how I get a lot of questions about the pips or the dots that are in the middle and how I do them. I use these Arteza acrylic markers. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and I do them once, let them dry, and then I just go through it again. Now I take my marker and just kind of make sure the paint's flowing with it. And this one's flowing pretty good. And then all you do is I put it in the hole and I just swirl it and that's it in the whole swirl. And see when you, I always do the two passes to make sure that it's very vibrant, um, especially when you do different colors. I think that it really helps to um, do that. So that's all there is to it. So you'll see see the difference between doing it one time and and two times. So yeah, it's, it's a lot better if you just do it twice. Um, and here I want to show you some of the letters. See how nice that is? Do you see any bubbles? I see zero bubbles. Zero. This one, the M has one. It happens. But it's a lot. Ooh, there's a little ant on him. I'm outside if you couldn't hear from the birdies. Makes it much easier doing your resin. When you can go outside, you live in Chicago. Or Chicagoland area. So yeah, these turned out awesome. I mean, just awesome. I have some sanding to do, which has just some light light around the edges of a couple of them. And I think a couple of my dominoes have some edges that need sanded off. But other than that, I think, oh, here's my little protective kitty. Turned out good. Yeah, it's a novelty item. <laughs> if some of you might not know, but they won't let uh, people that sell them, they won't let them. I love the K. I might have to keep this for myself. Um, they won't let them sell the novelties because they say they're dangerous. But all right, I'm going to finish doing my pips and I'll be back with pictures of them all finished and uh, ready to go. Okay. So here's the final product. I really like how these all turned out. Um, they're just so dainty in a way. And I love the clear keychains. Um, you see now that that alcohol and going around the edges works because I don't have bubbles. Well, I think I have one bubble out of all those keychains, which is awesome. So... Yeah, thanks for watching. I have a very cool one coming up, so you might want to subscribe. And if you can, like this video, leave me a comment. Yeah, I have this little experiment I'm doing with crayons. Yes, you heard that right. Crayons that are extremely cheap. And anything that can fill up space in these molds for us is a good thing. And especially if it's way cheaper than resin. So, yeah, I've almost got the kinks worked out of that so that it will work the first time without all the experiments that I do. But it's very cool and it's something you will not want to miss. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good one.